Hey guys, welcome back to I think this is the fourth web design on a Chromebook video I've done. And today we're just going to keep going with some more techniques and things that you can do on a Chromebook in regards to web design. And we will be revisiting a bit of theory that it's been a while since we've talked about. Everything's kind of uh, discombobulated because of the state of things. So yeah, we're going to gonna get into it a little bit. So, first things first, um, if we go into Carrot, I've noticed that when I open it from scratch, and I've had some files open that I've been working on, they're, they're fine, you know, here they are, but I can't see the project window over here anymore. Now, I could be missing something very simple, but in case I'm not, this is how I've been making my project window come back. So, what I'm going to do is... Just go to add directory and then point back to bootstrap business one more time and just do open and that's something it seems with the carrot editor you got to do every time you come into it which it's fine whatever um, now this video is going to be a little shorter because we're going to focus on one thing today and that is why are these two images the same the uh, pink cupcakes and the frosted cookies and the um, chocolate cake is not it's you know different and you can see that it's pushed the text a different way so why is that well this boils down to the fact that these two images on the ends here are what's called four by three aspect ratio and this one in the middle is not four by three it's actually a non-standard aspect ratio and remember the aspect ratio it's been forever since we talked about it is just the relationship between the width and the height okay so four by three is four wide for every three high it's wider than it is tall okay so how can we figure out what the aspect ratio is of the two proper images that we want to emulate well uh, in chrome what i'm going to do is just right click here <clears throat> on this pink cupcake image open image in a new tab and the reason I did that is that Chrome will tell me the uh, image resolution when I do that so 4608 3456 and I'll never be able to, to remember that right off so that's okay I'm just gonna click my little button down here and it was 40 4608 so in my search box here I'm gonna use it as a calculator 4608 divided by 3456 and you can see I already did that I'm not gonna lie I cheated just a little bit okay so I'll click that and the aspect ratio is 1.33333 now how do I know it's 4 by 3 at least what we call it in the industry if you do 4 divided by 3 oops, you get exactly the same thing okay so even though this image is huge the aspect ratio is 4 by 3 all right so close that and just for prosperity's sake because I can verify for you that this is 4 by 3 we'll open this one in a new tab this is 800 by 600 which is a really really old school standard resolution and if we do 800 divided by 600 and I already did that as well 1.33333 okay now here is the outlier. If I wanted to, I could go get a different image that's 4x3. But let's say this is the actual image the owner absolutely wanted to use and there's no way to change your mind. So what we got to do is make the aspect ratio match and that way any scaling that occurs with Bootstrap and with the browser is going to match because the scaling doesn't really care about resolution. It cares about aspect ratio and it'll make the image is small or as large as it needs to be to scale properly given the CSS properties in play here. So I'm going to right click on this one, open it in a new tab, 640 by 426. So somebody's cropped it out a little bit. And just for giggles here, let's put in 640. And you can see I already did that one as well. And this is a non standard aspect ratio of 1.50234, blah, blah, whatever. Okay, so how with our Chromebook and nothing else can we fix this? 
Well, there's several ways on a Chromebook that we could go about fixing this, but here's what I decided to do. We're going to go to Google and type in Pixlr. P-I-X-L-R. Okay, and you could just do Pixlr.com, but whatever. Half the time I spell it wrong. But here we go, Pixlr. And it always brings you up to two different versions. Uh, Advanced Pixlr E is uh, paid, and uh, Pixlr X is free, I think. Um, they probably both are paid up to a certain number of layers, but for simple things, it's free. So I'm going to go Playful Pixlr X. Okay, we don't have to log in or anything. I think that would allow us to pull images back up that we had worked on. Uh, but you can do that anyway, as long as you're using the same machine and the same browser, whether you log in or not. So what I'm going to do here is go to Open Image. Okay, and you can see I've already been here playing around with this to make sure I was telling you all the right things. But I'm just going to go to My Files, Web Design Projects, Bootstrap Business, Images. And the one that's messed up is the chocolate cake. Notice how I said chocolate cake. So there we go. I'll just click on it here and we'll open it. And there it is. And these tools, you guys have used it a little bit before, but we're probably going to end up using a lot more considering that we don't have Photoshop and the other stuff that we can normally use. So the very first thing that I am going to use here will be the thing that fixes the image for us. So I'm just going to go right here to my um, properties it's the very first thing and I want to do the canvas size not resize the image because that would stretch out the cake and the plate and everything else and it's not going to look right we want to resize the canvas that the image is actually on so I'm going to go to canvas size right here and we want to resize it from the center okay so that everything stays kind of equal and we know that 640 should be the width and 480 should be the height so we're going to be adding some pixels to the top and the bottom and because we're choosing the anchor point in the center it's going to resize it perfectly from the middle so now I'll do apply and you can see we have transparency here anytime in uh, image editors you see a checked pattern that's transparency unless the image itself had the checked pattern but in this case we know that it's transparency so to fix this up I'm gonna go click right there to put a background on it and you can see this turned it white and that's not what I want to do so I'm gonna come over here and click on my little white pill and choose the eyedropper now this background is not perfectly black or gray or anything it's actually a little bit textured however we're just gonna keep this simple and grab whatever uh, color we get from the texture over here so it's not gonna match perfectly because it's not a solid color but since this is going to be um, resized and shrunk and enlarged depending on the size of the browser that's going to be looking at it whether it's on a, a desktop or a laptop or a phone or a tablet doesn't really matter they're not going to notice that much the important thing is the cake is not going to be uh, deformed in any way so now I'm going to hit save here hit save and how do I want to save it? I'll just do it as a JPEG. And we'll set the quality to high. And I'm not going to call it chocolate cake. Because I don't want to overwrite the original. You never want to do that unless you absolutely know you don't need it. I'll just call it chocolate cake for three. And somebody looking at that file name might be like 43 what? But we know that it's four by three. Okay, so I'll just do download, and it should put it in the downloads folder, so I'll just click show in folder, and there it is, okay, and we will move it by expanding this out so we can get to the folder where it goes, and I'll change this to, um, or I'll drag it into images here and let go. So now we got chocolate hyphen cake hyphen 4.3. And you can see that it increased the file size somewhat because we added more to the canvas. And I don't really know how well that Pixlr will uh, compress photos. 
But now let's go back into Carrot, and we need to be in index.html. And I'll just scroll down here, and we're going to swap out the the image. Instead of chocolate-cake.jpg, I'm going to add 4.3 in there. We don't need to change the alt text or anything like that. I'll do Control s to save, as in snake or save. And then I think I already had it open here. So we go back and we have to refreshy. And now they're all the same. Because the aspect ratios are, are the same. So any resizing that happens doesn't matter as long as the aspect ratios are the same. Okay, so if you're doing a real website, please, for the love of anything, keep your grid lined up whenever you can by keeping your aspect ratio uh, proper. Okay, and the last thing we're going to do in this video is pretty cosmetic, but I'll go ahead and do it now. Let's change these card titles and add some a little bit of descriptive text uh, from within Carrot. So I'll do the first one, and then we'll just fast forward past it, and you can add the final result. So the first thing we got here is uh, the pink frosted cupcakes. This section is going to be for cupcakes. Okay, and the text, we'll just make up some stuff, and it'll be kind of short. Okay, and then instead of find out more, We'll say get your cupcakes. I'm going to go ahead and turn this into, oh, it already is clickable. Never mind. Okay. And if this was going to be real, we would change this to something that uh, would go to a real page. So I'm just going to put in cupcakes.html. Now, if you click on that, it's not going to do anything. But we're just setting it up like it was real. So now we've fixed our images so they're all the same aspect ratio and we changed the copy and pointed it to some fake pages that do not exist. Um, but they might someday. Okay. So that's it for the fourth video. I kept this one a little shorter and that's, that's fine. Um, <clears throat> we will continue forth doing some things. I want to change some of the colors here of these buttons I want to add my attribution for the pictures that we uh, got to use um, and uh, maybe add a few more little features here or there alright guys be good stay safe <laughs>